I can put a look at dirty enough self. Dirty enough self. I take on wife for duties before time. And Uncle Save with the name as Keisha with the green card. Or Keisha with the life insurance. Or Keisha in bracket free food because you have a look at restaurant and it's a strive and Uncle Belly full and so. Only for stop it. Look here, don't make me have nothing. Don't make me have anything. Stop it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikita aka Miss Beauty 23 and if you're new here, hi, aloha, welcome. As you guys know, on this channel what we really talk about is skincare. That's our base platform here. That's not the only thing that we talk about. We do talk about beauty, raw authentic beauty, dissecting beauty from the inside out. Dissecting beauty from the inside out and of course we also talk about personal development working on your mind your body your spirit Working on becoming that man or woman that you desire to become So if you're into all of that if that's your type of content then this is your neck of the woods So with that being said like this video because you know, it's good for the YouTube algorithm subscribe of course and Of course share the video because sharing is caring. So without further ado, let's get into it hold up hold up hold up just before i get into the video guys don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is my lifestyle and vlogging channel guys which is miss beauty 23 lifestyle and vlog so let's get back into the video okay lord god the son of a bone me now okay guys what are going to be uh, it's done we like the look of vitamin d but me now i a sunblock anyway guys lord jesus we now can't do this right now Okay guys, what we're going to be talking about today is things that you should not be doing while you're dating. Keyword, dating, dating, the courting, right. Some of you females be doing too much. I mean the male, some males do it, you know, but I'm emphasizing on the female because you'll be doing too much. So we need for slower roll, take a step back and really evaluate certain things. Lord God, the sun. I mean, the sun is nice, you know, look a glow, nice and so, but a lot. But anyways, we're going to be talking about things that we shouldn't be doing while we're just getting to know somebody, getting to understand that person, you know, just dating that person. Ten tips in particular is what I'm going to be elaborating on today. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, tip number one, stop having high expectations. No expectations, no disappointments. Oftentimes, we... I don't want to say enter into a re relationship or we start dating somebody with high expectations. Because let me tell you something. Persons will tell you what you want to hear just so they can have their way with you. And that's what I'm saying. Peace, persons will feed you sweet lies just to pull you in. So you guys have to be aware of this. Do not enter into a relationship. Do not start, it, start to date somebody with high expectations. It's good to have some form of expectations because you create, you've created a certain standard for yourself. But at the same time, stop expecting too much from that party because persons do have different type of qualities, right? Some persons probably don't know how to commit while some do. So you can't really force certain things on certain people and expect certain things. Just go with the flow, right? Because if you're expecting too much from that individual, you are potentially setting up yourself for disappointment. And nobody wants to get their heart broken. So, for, so at the same time, you're going to enter into this little, what do you call this, entanglement? You're going to enter into it with, with caution, you know? One foot in, one foot out. That's the first thing. Tip number two, guys don't get too clingy a lot of females do this i mean male do it too but females in particular tend to get too clingy too soon men will run from that overall people overall will run from it because you don't want to you people need their personal space that's the first thing you don't want to be hugging somebody too much give them their personal space give them some breathing space it's not that it's not that people don't want to be with you they, they don't like you Rem <laughs> excuse me I swear to God, I'm not crap it out. I'm not crapping it out. <laughs> Persons would... Uh, it's, it's not a case where people don't like you, right? It's just that people want their personal space. Give them some breathing space. Give them some time to, to reach out to you. Stop clinging on to people, calling them 24-7, texting, texting them. I understand that you care or you're interested, but give them some space. People will run from you right tip number three guys not making yourself a priority this is very important self-care is very important first of all if you can't love yourself if you don't know how to love yourself and put yourself first therefore you can't attend to nobody else that's the first thing learn to make yourself a priority 
do fun stuff on your own. You know what I mean? If that person call you, hey, Mona, are you available? No, Mona going to get her nails done, her hair done. Mona going to brunch. Make them know say you have a life outside of them, little entanglement. You have to make sure that you prioritize yourself. And then again, guys do like that. Guys like when women can boss up and handle stuff and, and do get stuff done on their own and not be too reliant on them. I'm talking from experience, guys. For disclaimer, by the way, I am no relationship expert. I'm just talking from, from experience and what I've seen and from what I was told, mainly from my older cousin over there. Yes, because she, yeah, she, she's a veteran in the game. So, yeah, guys. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, back to the video. Tip number four. This one right here. So, you see this tip? is a serious tip. You see number four? A serious something. Stop doing wifely duties. You not have no rings. So, what you do? What you do? What is you doing? You want to wash clothes? You don't want to meet mama and papa. You don't want to go to the family reunion. You don't even sure if the man changed. You don't contact him on the phone from Shelly to, 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 to babe. Stop wanting to cook too early or wash too early or all of that crap. Go with the flow, guys. Take a put a look at dirty enough self. Dirty enough self. I took on wife for duties before time. And Uncle Save the name as Keisha with the green card or Keisha with the life insurance or Keisha in bracket free food because you have a look at a restaurant and it's a strive and Uncle Belly full and so when if you stop it look here don't make me have nothing don't make me have anything stop it getting ahead of yourself go with the flow because as I said before if you get ahead of yourself you're fueling yourself for disappointment guys just go with the flow tip number five guys stalking your crush or stalking the guy that you're dating or the woman that you're dating on social media you find him social media in facebook profile or his instagram or his snapchat or whatever immediately you start look on his, his post for for comments from other females start stalking these females going in crazy obsessive mode stop doing that you're making yourself look crazy you're making yourself look like a big turn off guys take it easy Oversharing too early, giving out too much personal information. Oh, John did hurt me three years ago, and because of that, my heart get tough like rock stone. Or, or, um, Jane gave me, Jane gave me herpes, so I'm kind of skeptic on who I date. Stop oversharing too early. Persons will use this information against you later on. Worse if they don't have good intentions towards you. Worse if they're not in for the long run. The minute you guys kick off, he's going to bash you with that information. Hold back. Slowly enter, enter with caution, guys. I keep telling you guys, just relax, go with the flow, and not just and not overdo it. Overall, just don't overdo it. Don't overshare the information. Don't overshare with your love. Stop investing too much too early. Compromising too often, being too understanding. Being understanding is not bad enough because at the end of the day, we have to negotiate, guys. <laughs> compromising too much. You guys made plans to go out Friday night. It never work out and explain to you. All right, baby, I understand. Same thing happened Sunday. Same thing, uh, same thing happened next week, Wednesday. Stop compromising too much, guys. Stop getting played. If it's not working, if, you, if, if this doesn't sit well with your spirit, hear it out. Be expressive. I'm not t telling you to go cuss this person out or be disrespectful. Just bring your, po your point across as respectful as possible. If you feel like you're not being prioritized, if you feel like you're not being appreciated, then do something about it. Do not act oblivious to the red to the to the red flags you don't want to do that to yourself all right guys tip number nine do not kiss and tell this is what messes up a lot of relationships because someone will chat too much when you just chat too much when you can't make a good thing stay as how it is let it be the, the, the man buying a nice little purse or him going a nice little change you can't tell the woman don't your, your friend down the road or you can't tell the one don't not everybody will want to see you be happy guys that's the first thing it's okay to keep certain information to yourself it doesn't matter how much you want to share it 80 percent of the people that you share this information with want your relationship to go downhill and the next 20 don't care keep your information to yourself the less people know about you the less they'll have to use against you i want to move now leave some room for the men in particular to court you stop initiating calling and texting all the time you know i mean it's okay because you're interesting but come on and sit back and let him do his job men are natural hunters they're supposed to hunt you you are the pride you are the favor so therefore let them do their job guys stop initiating calls making the plans for the date making plans to go on trip 
sit back and let a man do a man's job guys and just before i go guys i'm going to be leaving a very important tip for the females in particular do not let what a man bring to the table be all you have to eat do not let what a man bring to the table miss be all you have to eat if you give a man the ability to feed you then you give him the ability to starve you no this is why it's very important for us as females. I'm not bashing anybody, any men here. I'm not bashing anybody here. I'm just saying you don't want to be too reliant on one party to look after you. That's, what, that's all I'm saying, guys. So if you feel like you've learned something from this video, guys, I want you guys to like this video, of course. Share this video, of course. Subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more exclusive content, guys, because I have a lot more in store for you guys. So don't forget to be bold and beautiful. Bye, my beauty bugs.